Hi ladies, I just wanted to talk to you about this concept of there being no failures in dating, only delayed success. And let's use some fun examples that actually happened to me. All right, so I got dumped two days before my birthday, one week after introducing her to all my friends at a dinner I curated to literally meet her. So that one hurt, it did hurt. Another one, and this happened probably a little bit after that one. So we dusted ourselves up, we tried again. I paid for an entire week in San Diego, and about a week later, I got dumped by that person. Now, I'm not telling you this to feel bad for me. Um, I'm actually really grateful for these women. The first one, I am actually thoroughly pleased with her for breaking up with me before my birthday because I already had plans to get together with my friends and now my birthday got to only be with the folks that you know really love and care about me and were not planning to dump me. So that was great. I am thankful. Um, the next one, the San Diego person. Like that must have been hard for her. She, we just had a good time and you know she dumped me a week later after the San Diego trip. Uh, I'm really grateful for her. There was a lot of things in her I really liked and I was I was very you know very interested in this woman. And what she taught me was I needed a partner that was also really ready for love. But more importantly, something I 100% know is true, someone who's crazy about me. So yes, I was crazy about her, but she was not crazy about me. So hands in the air, what am I to do? We can't force that. You know, I made some mistakes with her at the very end. I kind of was like, are you sure a little bit? Like, you know, I, I, it's usually when I'm feeling this strongly about you, it's usually reciprocated. Like, why isn't it? How could I feel this way if you don't feel it back? And none of that was smart or worth doing. It was just a total waste of time. So lesson learned, like if she's not feeling that way, it's not my job to convince her. It's not my job to debate with her. It's my job to accept that information, value myself, and say, oh, I want someone who's equally crazy about me. So let's move on. So why am I sharing all this stuff? Those were some of my quote unquote failures which I don't deem failures because I learned stuff from both of those partners and it got me a little closer. So I learned some of the things I liked in partners, some of the things I didn't, and I was looking for my next partner to have a lot of the qualities that these women possessed, but also, you know, like the, the last one, also be crazy about me. So once again, no failures, just delayed success. So now fast forward, when I get to um, Paige, when I'm ready to, when I'm getting to date her, if I didn't learn all these lessons from these other women and learn some of the things that I'm looking for, I never would have been able to receive her and accept her and choose her. Because I, you know, there's a lot of things about her that if she would have crossed my path five years ago, I would have been like, uh, doesn't qualify. And little did I know she was absolutely perfect for me, but I didn't have that discerning skill set that after dating a, a number of women got me to this discerning state and this healed state where all the things that I did wrong over the years are now healed and fixed and now I can be a good partner um, with this person. So sometimes, especially with a dumb guy like me, success takes a little bit longer and I have to learn a lot of lessons. So hopefully this channel, if you watch a number of my videos, you can learn from my like 10,000 mistakes and just, you know, not have to go through them and spend as much time as I did to learn all these lessons and just start executing and implementing and making yourself ready for dating so you can just be hyper efficient, get your partner tomorrow instead of, you know, dealing with all the dumb mistakes I made. All right, see you next time.